What is up, Dodgers Nation? Uh, we're excited because we are on the phone with uh, Dodgers' top prospect. He's number three currently or in the organization, but that's because there's just so much incredible uh, depth in this this crazy organization. That's what I'm going to go It's going crazy. crazy. I mean, there's, there's so much going on with the organization right now, so it's a lot of fun. But we're on with JoJo, Mr. Josiah Gray. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good. How about you guys? We're alive and we're watching baseball, so we're as good as we can be, <laughs> given the circumstances, I guess. Exciting times, for sure. So you're one of the the select few, the lucky few, I guess we can say. You're over there at the the satellite uh, alternative side at USC. Um, how is that going, man? We, we need some of that insider scoop because really nobody knows – the trouble I've seen. No, nobody knows what what that that site's all about. Kind of uh, what the day to day is like. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's it's kind of like spring training. So we go in every morning. Um, you know, we have to follow all of the COVID protocols that have been set. Mm -hmm. uh, so we get our temperature taken and whatnot. Um, and then we just you know prepare for the day. So whether it be uh, if you're throwing a lot of BP, you you stretch on your own. You do all that stuff. If you're throwing um, it's just another day of work for you. You know, you warm up for that, you throw, you work out, you run, um, and, and then you kind of just head home. So it's, it's as much as spring training as, as it can be. And it's also, it has the element of, you know, we have games, um, here and there as well. Do you get, uh, do you guys have a place that's set up for you guys to stay at? Or are you guys kind of on your own with that? Yeah. So luckily, um, the guys who aren't on the 40 man, they're, they're helping us out with, um, the living accommodations out here. Mm. So yeah, we're very fortunate to have that. And, you know, it, it kind of takes one thing off of mm -hmm. our plate because, you know, a lot of guys were coming in from different parts of the country right. that were impacted differently. Um, so yeah, it's, it's honestly running as smoothly as can be right now. What's the, uh, what's the competition like out there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everyone's everyone as, as, as competitive and, you know, they want to get their work in. Um, as can be so you know it's really like a really good environment for guys whether they're you know a couple of years away or whether they're knocking on the door i think it's something that you know it's not going to be like it's not going to be comparable to the big leagues but it's as close as can be because every organization is bringing their top guys there um minus some um a few depending on how they how they see it and you know we're all going out and uh, just trying to get each other out or if you're a hitter trying to get hits so it's it's definitely a competitive environment i know a lot of fans were curious kind of what you guys were doing over there i think dave roberts had like briefly touch on it where he's like yeah you know they're throwing live vps they're hitting they're doing all the things you do in spring training so it's definitely good yeah. to hear about the behind the scenes going on there but uh we got to see we got to see you in action man and i think you you know i'm i'm all over twitter all the time that's kind of my entire job is on twitter but <laughs> you definitely turned a lot of heads um when in your inter squad appearances what was it like man you're on the big stage you get to be at dodger stadium obviously it's a little bit weird because <laughs> no fans except a couple cardboard cutouts for you but what was that experience like man yeah it was different um you know being out there i think i had four appearances but uh it was definitely um a moment that I'll never forget whether it be, you know, the inner squads or even the outing I had against the Angels. It's something that you don't think about. Um, you kind of don't know how to think about it, but once you're out there, you're like, wow, I'm really doing this. Um, so to be able to go out there and, and pitch pretty well, um, you know, it's it's definitely a surreal kind of moment that sits with you and continues to let you know that you're, you're on the right path and, you know, just got to continue your work and, you'll be making that like a reality sooner than later. Yeah, you talk about pitching well. Uh you were one of the blessed to make it to the ninja, man, <laughs> pitching ninja. That's uh that's got to hit pretty high on the totem pole especially for a young guy. Yeah, yeah, I follow pitching ninja since he began pitching ninja and to to see myself on it after that outing um cuz my <laughs> phone was blowing up and to see my phone blowing up um after the outing I was like Oh man, what the hell's going on? And, um, I checked Twitter and it's like I got like like so many notifications where you have to sh it has to push like a show more or something like oh, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh my god, oh, I I'm on the ninja. So uh, 
that was pretty cool to see. Yeah, sure. I mean, that was a big moment for us, man. Like we were scrolling through, and I was like, "Is that is that Josiah? Yeah, is we that know that Josiah. guy. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, uh, people obviously he has a super successful account, but it's always just fun to see what he does and how many games that guy has to watch to be able to do that and clips and stuff like that. So to see you yeah, on there was exactly. really exciting for the Dodger fan base. That was fun. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I mean, you know, we don't want, we don't want to talk about your exes too much, but we're going to, we're going to talk about your ex organization a little bit. Um, Portable, as a yeah. Dodger fan myself, so I can say this because I don't work for the organization. So I won't ask you too, too deep of questions on this, but I will say that the Dodgers fleeced the reds in the trade that brought you over. And I think, even just you coming over alone would have been good enough with that, but I'm not going to ask you to talk so much about that, but what, what have you noticed has been some of the differences coming over from Cincinnati organization over to LA? How does it play any different? Can, is there a difference? Yeah. Yeah. I think the, um, from years past, we've known the Dodgers are sort of a forward thinking and, uh, an organization, you know, that is willing to do whatever they need to do to, try and make every player better, whether it be first round, 40th round, free agent sign, whatever you have it. So coming over here um, compared to Cincinnati, Cincinnati, you know, it was, I'm blessed to be drafted by them and enter professional baseball with them. But I think over there, there was really no direction for me. Um, and with even being, you know, a competitive balance pick with them, they didn't really know what to do yeah. just yet. So Getting over here, um, you know, for my first spring training definitely helped me out. Learning what kind of pitcher I am, learn how to use my pitches. Um, this is why I do this, and you know, seeing the way I release the ball, even the certain, the certain like small things, um, the Dodgers organization has helped me with that I don't think Cincinnati was doing to to the finer points yeah. when I was drafted. Obviously, they probably doing it now, seeing as Kyle Bodie is head in the pitching department. <laughs> um, but you know, that's that was like the vast difference I saw going from um, Cincinnati to LA. Yeah, well, I mean, I think uh, maybe like an added bonus for you, but I feel like compared to fans around the league, I, I don't know many Reds fans to be honest with you, but <laughs> I feel like Dodgers fans in particular end up being very big prospect huggers and prospect oh, yeah. fans in general, um, speaking yeah. f- just from experience of people. So as soon as your name popped up, it was like, it was almost like the equivalent of having you on the big league squad, like automatically. Mm-hmm. It was like, yep, we're going to watch this guy. We're going to pay attention to him. So a little bit of an added bonus to that, I guess. Um, we're We're talking about this year. Obviously, a strange year, a lot going on, very short season, yeah. very strange minor league. Yeah, I don't even know if you can call it a season. It's a <laughs> setup, I guess. But what are some of your goals for this season? Yeah, honestly, the goals are remain the same. Just continue to attack hitters, um, continue to stay in the zone. Just be, up, just go out there, remain confident. You know, as as simple as it can be. You know, I'm I'm a guy who wants to go out there and keep it simple even though pitching is probably one of the more uh, complex things you can do in this game. Um, but yeah, just continue to refine my stuff as well and and go out there and kind of just stay ready. If this year is my year, then you know what? Make it the best year yet and go up there and, and help them win some games. And if not, you know, continue to work and grind at the alternate side and, and just refine my stuff and make this uh, a really good development year so that next year I don't, I don't skip a beat and, you know, hope for the world and baseball um, goes back to normal and we can pick up from there. Yeah, well, I mean, we see the growth right away, you know, talking about coming from, I wouldn't say a complete unknown, but you weren't exactly uh, the most well-known commodity coming to L.A. except for some of the deeper dive folks. And, and then now you flash forward after one season organization, you're, what, 66, I think, in, in the MLB top 100 prospects. Obviously, a lot of things are going well. You, you have goals. To, the the big leagues are right there at the doorstep. So I guess ultimately the question is, when are we seeing you in the show, man? Uh, man, I wish it was up to me. Uh, <laughs> you know, whenever, whenever they say I'm ready, I'm ready. Um, you know, I, I think having the experience of, experience of two big league camps – along with the outings I'm having at the alternate side with absolute studs around me is, is going to prepare me for that. So whenever they give me that call and um, say, Hey, we need you, I'll be ready. 
Oh, man, we really look forward to that because I know that when we're watching you, we know that the Dodgers are a very deep organization. And obviously, the talent that's at the big league level kind mm-hmm. of makes it, you know, I think you kind of put management in a weird position. Where we're like, yeah, we would absolutely <laughs> love to have this guy up. There's no room for him right yeah. now. So we're the, definitely looking forward to that. The good problem to have. <laughs> yeah, absolutely a good problem to have. Well, we appreciate your time, man. Uh, we we didn't want to get too much into you know all of the the finite stuff of of you know pitching and and um, you know sort of w- w- what's your spin rate at and all that because we know um, <laughs> you start to lose some people on that. We just want people to kind of to to get get to know you a little bit more. Obviously, we we are Gary came out and spoke with you during spring training, so we're going to link that video. And it's it's always good to uh, you know give people more. Well, in this case more of a voice behind the uh the arm that that uh Absolutely. hopefully is going to be shutting down some people in the big leagues this season because uh like like brooke said it's a weird year and it's going to happen man it's going to be this year <laughs> i i really don't have any doubt in that <laughs> hell yeah i appreciate it uh well i guess last thing you have anything really just to uh to say to the fan base um while you sort of have this <laughs> i don't know platform. if you want to call this a platform <laughs> <laughs> no um I want to say I appreciate the support, obviously, over the last two years. You know, this organization is uh, top-notch, and, you know, there's a reason why uh, everyone comes here and doesn't want to leave. There's a reason why uh, Mookie Betts, you know, wants to stay for 12 years. Yep. <laughs> uh, but being with a guy, you know, it feels like I was drafted by this organization just in terms of – you know, the length being here and the people I've met and, you know, the fans I've encountered. So, you know, I'm excited for the future in Dodger Blue and, and you know, want to help win some games, win some championships down the road. Keep As Mookie it. Betts said, get those rings, man. We're going to go get them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe, exactly. Joe, appreciate your time, man. Take it easy, stay healthy, and uh, we'll we'll see you soon. All right, thank you, guys.